Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer, here to talk to you guys about a great new game that's actually coming out tomorrow, or without dating this video, January 30th, 2014, on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. What's this game called? Rimmed... 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 Rimda Capsule was originally released on PlayStation Mobile, iPhone, and Android, and since the game recently exceeded over 200,000 downloads, lone developer Grapfrift decided it was time to bring the game to a much larger platform. So the game is being released through Steam on PC, Mac, and Linux. Rimda Capsule is, besides difficult to pronounce, a slow-paced meditative strategy game set in space. It has hints of tower defense, but ultimately is a genuinely unique experience. Every time you start a new game, you have two minions, a small corridor, and enough resources to begin expanding your space station. Building extractors and reactors for more resources, building a garden to grow food, a kitchen to cook the food, and living quarters where the player can gain more minions to carry out tasks. And of course, a weapons bay for defense. All special pieces must be attached to the corridor pieces. This is where the first bit of strategy comes in. Obviously you want to keep the kitchen and gardens near each other, but it is not always that simple. This is one of the few simulation games that make me feel like I actually have a say in how my space station comes out. To make things even more interesting, all the ship pieces come out as different tetraminos, each requiring careful placement. The ultimate goal is to have your minions in a thriving space station and to venture out to find the four monoliths placed in each corner of the level. When you get to the monoliths, up to three minions can research them. And once enough research has been done, a bonus is unlocked. To benefits like six more minions to faster actions, these monoliths are a key to succeeding in Rimda Capsule. However, it is not as easy as it seems. As your minions continue to work, they will be interrupted by strange flying enemies who will shoot your minions on sight. As long as your minions have enough firepower, they will live to work another day. But, as you play for longer, the waves of enemies come quicker and in more robust numbers, and if you are not prepared, they can easily wipe you out. Of course, if you prefer to just enjoy the experience of building your own space station uninterrupted, there is a zen mode where the enemies are removed. This is a great way to learn the intricacies of the game and to make a wicked awesome space station. Rim to Capsule is a very special game. It was a rare sight on the App Store to find a game built for gameplay to last longer than five minutes and not plagued with free-to-play, pay-to-win marketing strategies. Rimda Capsule's design works on so many different levels. Its minimalistic art style matches the simplistic gameplay. The bright colors of green, blue, pink, and orange shine against the deep darkness of space. Having the ability to zoom in real close without details being diminished is a nice touch, and you really start to feel attached to the little white rectangles we refer to as our minions. That one, I like to call George. Oh no, George! He was so young. George had a family. Every monolith is exciting to discover as they add a new twist on the game, and they give enough of an objective to allow the player to have a clear goal without being too pushy on telling them what to do. The music is a perfect instrumental ambience that puts your nerves at ease as you continue to expand your station. The music and the art style can be directly contributed to the game's relaxed tone in a way I have yet to experience in any other simulation or tower defense game. I highly recommend Rimda Capsule on any format you can get it on, but for anyone who would like to play this game on the go, it's perfect for train rides, it works great on Apple and Android devices or on the PlayStation Vita. It's $3.99 on mobile and $9.99 on PC, Mac, and Linux through Steam. Be sure to pick this game up to support the one-man team behind this great indie gem. Thanks for watching this review. If you have any indie games you'd like to see reviews on, please comment down below. And if you have any thoughts on Rim to Capsule, or want to tell me that I mispronounced it, because I probably did, be sure to not bother telling me, because I already know. Joke's on me. This game is out of this world!